Hi there, my name's Tom Maisie and I'm the trainer on this um, tutorial series about synthesis in the ES2. Um, every sound you heard in the track there, apart from the drums and the percussion, came from Logic's ES2. Um, and we're actually going to learn to make sounds just like this in the um, tutorial series. Um, the point of the series isn't to learn one particular genre or one particular type of sound or even just to learn the buttons and knobs, although we do do all of that. It's to be able to create any sound that you want and any sound that you can hear in your head and turn it into reality. So it should be ap applicable to any uh, genre of music. So let's have a listen to some of these sounds. First up we've got this weird effect sound, this sort of drop sound. Uh, there's four videos in the uh, pack on making effect sounds, um, making everything from weird, um, eerie sounds like this to um, tra transitional sounds, build-up sounds, and um, lots of other things too. Um, next up we've got this sort of uh, quiet pad in the background which just provides a bit of atmosphere, a bit of space. Uh, there's uh, five videos on making pads and keyboard sounds um, and we again we go through a whole range of different sounds and broad techniques that you can use to make pads for any track. Next up we've got this kind of clean um, techno house bass. Again, there's five videos on making bass um, in the pack, and um, amongst other things, we'll make sort of house and techno style bass, but we'll also make really dirty, gritty bass, um, stuff for drum and bass and dubstep. Um, so really, again, we'll be covering all the techniques you need to make any kind of bass that you want to do. Uh, next up, we've got this uh, keyboard sound. It's got a nice kind of warm, slightly distorted um, tone to it. Uh, next up, there's another keyboard sound. This one's so something I felt could be, you know, could even be in a sort of deep house track or something like that, or even something fairly minimal and dubby. Uh, but I've just put it in here as a background element. Uh, again, all of these sounds were created um, pretty much purely in the S2. I do have a couple of effects on them, some of Logic's standard effects, but not many really. The vast majority of this sounds coming straight from the ES2. Uh, next up we've got this sort of atonal groove, um, this kind of uh, woodblock type sound. Um, there's uh, videos on making percussion sounds, and in fact we're going to be learning how to make an entire drum kit just from the ES2, uh, including kick, hi-hat, snare, cymbals, um, but we're also going to be looking at making slightly weirder electronic percussion. And uh, this is an example of that. And it's actually got a kind of um, atonal groove to it, which is also coming from the ES2. The notes, which I've programmed in here, don't really bear much resemblance to the tonality of the, uh, of the notes that you hear. That's mostly coming from the ES2. Finally, we've got uh, one more sound which is related to that one, except it's a lot more tonal. Um, it's another sort of percussive sound, and um, I used it to make a sort of uh, nice percussive melody, basically, at the end here. So again, that sound came um, almost purely out of the S2. It's just got a little bit of stereo delay automated on it uh, to give some uh, rhythmic um, delay effects. So um, that's just a few of the sounds we're going to be learning to make. Um, as I say, the purpose of the course is to learn every kind of, you know, to learn how to make any kind of sound. So um, if you want to become a synth guru, um, definitely consider buying the tutorials. Thanks very much.